Hello everybody and welcome back to our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. I'm your host Valenfor and in today's episode we are going to continue with these stones. We have a number of these stones that we need to activate. Um, let me just adjust the sound because for some reason audio has gone very very quiet. Although it does appear to be okay so maybe I should leave that as it is. Right. Uh, and Sod's Law, of course, will get attacked as soon as we start. Come on. Uh, how are you still alive? Thank you. Right, so the Beast Stone we activated in the last episode, we also got the Wind Stone um, over there somewhere. Uh, it was near here, I think. And basically that one told us that we had to go... Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, we had to go southeast of the lake to find the place that we need to be. And I've gone and lost the lake. Where is the lake gone now? Uh, is that the lake over there? Yeah. Okay. So here's the lake. So we need to head this way, and what we're looking for is a cave of sorts. I think we have to go inside the cave and locate a bag. At least that's what I remember. Now the mead hall is here. This is Thursk. Uh, there's a dude up here who sells... Come, friend. I make the best armor on all of Solstein. Nordic weapons. Let's just talk to him quickly. We might be able to barter for some repair hammers. No? No repair hammers whatsoever. Okay, fine. Um, it's probably a good idea if I do just quickly repair, because I haven't done that in a while. And run out of stuff. So we're going to need to find some more repair hammers. That's fine. I do know that somewhere around here is a hollow tree, supposedly. Is this it? Hollow tree stump. And look what we have in here, something called Shadow Sting. Now a lot of these are probably not going to be overly useful, although that one seems a bit odd. Look at this. So this does um, a Cast When Strike ability. Now this is going to do to the thing that you hit. It's going to poison them 5 points for 20 seconds, but it's also going to make them invisible completely. 200 to 100%, that's backwards, for 20 seconds. So. You poison them and then you make them invisible. It's crazy. Ebony Arrow of Slaying. Look at those. Damage health 5,000 points. Now if my archery was any higher, I would definitely pick these up. But I'm actually going to leave them here for now. Deceit. Constant effect. Fortify. Can I wear that without issue? Or does it... Does that actually change anything I was wearing? Oh, that's a shame. I think it got rid of my glove. Or did it? I can't quite tell. I can't quite tell. It's it's just a glove. It's not a... Oh, taking my shield off now. Well, let's just check, because there's another one. Treachery. So I've got two gloves on. But where have the rest of my hand items gone? No, okay. Wraith Guard comes off, and so does that one. So I need to keep those on, right? Uh, Ring of the Raven, Night Eye, 20 points on self and 45 Marksman, 20 points on self, sounds good. Uh, but which one of these do we want to get rid of? Let me just put it in my inventory for now. We've got the Blood Ring, that's cast when used, so that's not overly important at the moment. Have I got no other rings equipped? That can't be right. Have I really been running around? No, there you go, Ring of Azura, which is also Night Eye, 20 points. Those two should stack. We've also got Helseth's Collar. Now, that's a neck item, I believe. We've got the Amulet of Shadows at the moment. Let's wipe that on. May as well, right? Uh, so, where is it gone? There it is. Let's take the Blood Ring off. And Ring of the Raven. And that should make things a little bit more brighter. So, we've found the Mead Hall. That's good. 
somewhere around here, as I say, is going to be a cave. And it's that cave that we need to head on inside. Something's trying to hit me. Are we... have we found it? Is this it? Glenshaw's tomb. Let me just check here. Uh, 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 as I approach the beast stone, wind stone, travel south at Glenshaw's tomb. It is, in fact, the one we need. So let's head on in here now. Wow! Bone wolf. And look at this, this is a drow. <coughs> And another drow. They don't look too much different from the ones in Skyrim, although obviously... Grave tar. Mm, lovely. What about the bone wolf? Bone meal. Surprising. Not really. Okay, so... Which way do we want to be going in here? <coughs> I just took out that guy's legs. That's brilliant. I could be able to sneak up to these things and maybe get a crit on them. Oh wow, there's millions of them. This is going to do me wonders in the levelling experience because quite frankly these things can hit me and it does absolutely no damage. So I could just let this guy wail on me for a while, but who cares, right? Let's just continue here. I'm waffling now, as you'd expect. Right, we've got a couple more of these things to kill. <coughs> just smash my way through them. Who needs bone wolves? There's a locked chest there. I'm probably going to leave these locked chests. They don't really have much use inside them. Dalrim we still can't do anything with. The greedy man's bag. Your journal has updated. Take all. I have opened the greedy man's bag and freed the winds. I should return to the windstone. So okay, that's that's nice. That means we have completed yet another um, quest. Let me just check this now. Journeyman's master's lockpick. We've got one on the go at the moment. Let's try this one. Nice. Absolutely nothing in it. Brilliant. Well, there's not much point in me staying here. Let's head back. Oh. Thank you. Now, obviously, I think I may have experienced, uh, explained the leveling experience previously. The more you hit something, the more you're going to level up your skills. So. I can wail on him. Every successful hit is a win. So even the littlest of damage is going to level up our blunt, as you can see. Obviously, the longer it takes you to kill them, the more damage you're going to sustain. So I like the harder hits sometimes as well. Wow! Where did you come from? Stay down. And let's just take this guy out as well and get a little bit of extra healing here we go right rest until healed get our mana back and I'm also just gonna rest an extra four hours just to get it light again quick save there's a bear down there and let's just first off look at the stone locations again so I can get my bearings locations of stones. Now supposedly when you read this in the original game, so pre-modded, uh, these would actually go on your minimap up here and it would put the locations. Now obviously playing a modded game for whatever reason one of my mods stops that from happening so I'm kind of like, ah, okay. Um, I think probably what we'll do is I could go and hand back in at the windstone and then head down towards the water stone or we could just recall and head down to the sunstone from where we recall. That sounds probably a better idea. Fort Frostmoth, the sunstone should be about there. Yeah, we'll just one more look at that. 
Yeah, we could do the sunstone and then head up to the tree stone, I suppose. Okay. So. I think that's probably wise. Let's do that. Ah, oh, failed to cast a spell. And got the errors. Fantastic. Okay. Almalexia knows. Oh. Fancies. Well, that was silly. It's taken me back here. The Lord's will be done. See to <laughs> it. <laughs> I actually can't believe that. Okay, guys, give me two seconds. I will get back to Fro Frostmoth. Two seconds. Be right back. <laughs> and we are back here. Sorry about that. That was ridiculously noobish of me to have done that. I thought I had set my mark spell back here. Clearly, I did not. So. What say? Look, someone else talking about food. Grandpa goat and garlic sauce. What the heck is that about? Okay, we're going to mark this area. No, we are going to mark this area. Thank you. Finally. And now we will head this way. Oh dear, how annoying is that? Go and teleport back to a previous expansion point. That's very silly. Ouch. Break my legs. Okay. Let me just see if I can rest until healed here. Oh, really? Until healed. Yet again. And it's going night time. So, let's go for a 12 hour rest. There we are. Good. So yeah, we'll head over to the sunstone. And because of my, of course, noobish error, we're probably going to only be able to get the sunstone one done. Of course, that depends on where it ends up sending us. Trying to listen out for any other noises. I think we're in battle at the moment, actually. Hey! No. Oh. Wait. Okay. I don't think we can be far from this sunstone. And obviously the thing we're looking for is an obelisk-like standing stone. What was that? Could that be it? There's a wolf over there. Alright, let's have a look at these. That's not a sunstone. the sunstone be? Right, so where am I? And let's just check this map again. It's... Okay, so it looks like a frozen river. I probably need to head this way a bit. It looks like a snow bear. Oh, got that right. Stay down, pumpkin. Ah. No, 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 no. Couple more bears over there. Ah. Wait, what is that on the horizon? I see before me. Now, oh, hush. Take you out. I don't have no ghosts attack me, thank you. What the... F hey! Come here! <clears throat> thank you. That 
to me looks like a stone. Just heal there. Quick save as well. Tanking this quick save button like a beast. Okay, that looks like a sunstone to me, guys and girls. Okay, go to the west and free the warm sun from the halls of Penumbra. Go to the west and free the warm sun from the halls of Penumbra. I read that right, didn't I? Okay. Well, let's go do that then. Go to the west. I noticed there was something that looked like a cave over here. I don't think the hawkers attack you. They do in the... Colfina's dwelling. Never even heard of her. You, if it is a her. Right, but let's follow this little path here, because this looks like a nice little area. Okay, so we're looking for, I think, an area called Penumbra. This could be it. Die, bear. And die, naked dude. Now this is fighting. <laughs> he says, as he falls over and dies. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, where is this now? Halls of Penumbra. Spectacular. Your journal has been updated. I have entered the Halls of Penumbra, which is seemingly devoid of light. Well, it looks pretty light to me. Maybe that's because of my night eye. Who's this little dude? It's a drow. Or drowger. Oh, blunt <coughs> weapon just went up. Oi! Die. And this dude as well. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Uh, I don't know if you noticed just there, you might need to rewind, but that guy's health came back just after I hit him one time. So I guess these guys do heal. I'm noticing these little torches on the sides of the walls. I expect I'm going to have to light them all. He's down. Oh god, this place is massive. He's down. Well, let's have a little look around here. We've still got a bit of time. What is this? A chest. And I'll probably end up unlocking it and there will be nothing in it. Ah, look at that. Fan dabby dozy. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that I don't need to go down each and every single one of these little trails lighting things along the way. Ah. <clears throat> I'm hoping they just come on once all the enemies are destroyed, but no, my luck. What the hell is that? Let's just get a hill here. And then... I have no idea what this thing is. <clears throat> ah! But it's hostile, whatever it is. God, that almost killed me. <sighs> oh. No, 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 no. Let me up. Oh, God. This thing, I don't want to even look back just in case it's right on my ass, so to speak. Okay, let's take a quality health potion. Have I got a mana potion of any description? No, I do not. So I am going to have to finish this guy off as best I can. I can't seem to stun lock him at all. There we go! Wow! Flaming Eye of the Lightkeeper. He was hard. We'll just rest until healed.
dear lord i should have probably quick saved i can't remember if i did before taking him on right let's have just a tiny look down here what is this now would you like to throw the flaming eye at the ice wall i guess uh Oh, and look, it's lit up everything. Is that what I was supposed to do? I guess. Can I? Yeah, thanks. I have shattered the wall and freed the warmth of the sun. I should return to the sunstone. Okay, that's cool. And of course, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are watching who think to themselves, ah, Penumbra. Heard that name. Pretty sure it's some kind of scary game. I, I believe I saw Markiplier play it years and years ago. Don't think I watched it all though. Oh, I blocked twice there. That's cool. I'm um, not going to bother with the rest of these punks. Let's leave. Get to the sunstone. At least we'll have got two of the stones complete out of the six. No, three of the stones complete. Although we do obviously have to hand in the windstone one. But that is awesome. I was just about to say, you know, this expansion seems a lot easier than the, the last one, but then that thing almost handed me my bottom. So thank God I managed to defeat that when I did. Because that would have been nails otherwise. Right, okay, what are we dealing with? Where is the stone? It should be straight on. And again, I am still jumping everywhere. Because I can. Jump, 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 jump. Boom. Boom. As I approach the sunstone, it began to glow with a mystical light, and I have completed the gift of the sun ritual. I'm just going to rest for two hours. And guys, this is where we're going to end for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more of our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. But until then, guys, take care, and I will catch you next time. <laughs>